folks moneymaker spy here shane from moneymakerspy.com wanted to show you guys some tournament play here on club wpt hopefully we can win a tournament for you looks like we're ready to go we got six players here on this sit and go uh, 100 tournament point entry fee on club wpt it's 9 42 a.m in the morning we'll have a uh set of players here that are about average to slightly below average players as far as their skill level and we should have a good chance here of getting in the money which is first or second place third place gets nothing fourth fifth and sixth place gets nothing Let's see how we do hope you enjoy if you ever get in trouble while you're waiting for a tournament and the screen won't load or you can't find your table the best thing to do is not panic because you will be able to even restart your computer, restart your browser, and they will take you to your table. Um, there's no reason to think you're going to lose your spot or your entry-free money or anything like that. Um, we've had to reload this screen. See, it says take me to my table again. We'll try it one more time. There we are. So you can see that we've missed out on some play. Um, they even took, well, they didn't take any of our money, but uh, we definitely missed out on the first hand, which is okay. It's nothing to get upset about. Um, we weren't in the small or big blinds. So we didn't lose any money. And if they know that you're not connected or there's a connection problem, they will purposely not uh, sit you in. They'll sit you out and give you a chance to get back. So it's nothing to worry about if you have a connection issue. Always take your time. Don't panic. And come back as soon as you can if the table you're supposed to be at does not load for you uh, restart your browser go back to the site log in and it will prompt uh, quickly bring you to the table you're supposed to be at usually okay so we're on the big blind here with a queen eight since we're on the big blind um, I would generally pay 40 chips to get in I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise this see if uh, Everyone is serious about playing. He calls me. The other one folded out. Or no, he called it as well. So we flopped a queen. We're in good shape here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bet uh, 135 chips. It's approximately 10% of my chip stack. We get a taker. He took me. Um, we get a three flop. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bet 85 chips. We had a taker on that as well, so uh, unless he has three sevens or something like that, I'm going to bet 20, see if he takes me up on it. He'll probably go like 500 or all in or something silly. See, I told you. Um, what could he have? I, I don't know. We'll call it for fun. He had absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't know what he was betting on there, but we've... Uh, Done pretty well by uh, increasing our chip stack by about 33%. Um, small blind, we'll call 10 chips to get in with the suited cards. They are connectors, even though they're far apart here. Nothing worth betting on, but I'm going to bet, see if I can bluff them out. Let's bet 80 chips. Bet 80 chips. He goes in, he's got a pair of jacks or something. Um, he's got a pair of something as well. We're going to check it around. We have no possibility of winning anything here unless they fold. So we don't want to chase the money. We just want to get out. Jack King on the button is a great hand. Remember this hand that a pair of twos beats you. So don't get too crazy. 
I'll call 40. Um, not too much to pay to flop a king. We know we have the high pair on the board. Unless somebody has a pair of fives. A uh, pair of fives would mean they have a set and they beat us. So we're going to kind of let them take the lead. They called. Uh, we will call that. Queen comes up. That's a good card. If somebody has a pair of queens, they're going to bet it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raise them 40. See what they think of that. He folds. He takes it. Um, maybe he's got three of a kind, but I'm going to go ahead and bet on my kings. I'll bet 20 more chips. He should call that to see the cards. He just gave that pot to me. He should have called it. Ace, queen, ace, king, betting in the late position. We're going to raise that up and bet the pot. We want to get our money in early here. We want to see who's serious about having a pair, who's serious with cards. We have one player. He's betting 20. He might have a pocket pair. Um, let's see if he's serious. I'm going to raise him up. Okay, if he has a six, he has three of a kind, so we have to be careful. He checks. He probably has nothing. Let's bet two. Let's bet twenty. He should call that. And he did. He checks it. He has nothing. So let's bet twenty and get twenty more chips out of him. Maybe we'll beat him with the ace high. He had a pair of tens. He played that very well. Not too bad for us because we didn't lose too much. Ten seven unconnected. Not worth playing. Jack four not connected. Do not play that hand. We would have flopped a pair of fours. But anyone with a tenor king would have been in a position to beat us. Now we have a flush possibly on the board. Good thing we got out while we did because we would have had nothing. I only recognize two players at the table. We're in the big blind here. I will check this. Um, we have a connector, although it's not suited. I will pay the 20 chips to stay in the hand. Just to see if we flop anything. Ace, two, five, six, seven. Uh, I'm going to check that. Actually, I'm going to bet it. See if I can scare some people into folding. Okay. He raised us. I'll call the 20. Checked it. He checked as well. This one's going to bet. We are not going to take the bet since we have nothing. Oh, we'll check it. Let's bet 20, see if we can get somebody to fold. He raises it. Good man. He shows that he has a pair of something. So we're going to fold. Small blind. We have unsuited semi-connected cards uh, let's pay the 15 bucks to see the so we flop the high pair so we know we probably have a decent hand let's bet 30 he calls it now we have two pair we have a possible uh, full house on the on the river and we flop the full house is that right yes we have a full house so let's bet 210 and he took us up on it and we win the full house nice so now we have the high chips we're the chip leader we have an ace king on the button couldn't really ask much more than that other than a pair of kings or a pair of aces so I'm gonna raise them up 90 which is the minimum raise see who's serious about their hand he wasn't he folds Jingman's a better so uh, he'll probably bet on that and he does we flop nothing. Um, he probably has a pair of queens. So let's fold with an ace king. It's not worth chasing the cards. Don't give him any more money than, than he should out of that hand. Suited a queen. Uh, possible straight. 
flush here, so we'll call it. And look at that. We flopped the queen, and we have two pair with queens and threes. We're in a good position, so don't check it. Go ahead and bet the turn. They'll all fold unless they have something great. A three. If somebody had a three, they would they would bet that. Jack queen in the middle position. We would want to raise here in this position to see who's serious about their hand. We wouldn't want to get in too deep here because a pair of twos beats a jack queen. And luckily for us, we flopped two pair. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raise it up to 330. We may even flop another full house here. He goes all in. Um, he's got a 10 or he's probably got three of a kind or something. Let's call and find out. They're both all in, so I'll call them. What do they got? I took all their money, <laughs> and they're all both out. So we have pocket nines. Uh, queen six unsuited. I'll call the 15 just to see if we get lucky on the flop. We didn't. Um, I'll bet to see if I can scare them into folding since we have no chance of winning on our own. Let's see if we can bluff them. He's probably scared of me now. See, he folded because I took the other two guys out, so we have the psychological advantage. Jack-7 is a raised position on the button. And we flop the jack. Uh, we definitely want to bet in this position. Um, let's check, see if we can tell him we have nothing. Maybe he'll bet here. If he has a pair of queens, he'll bet. He doesn't bet, so let's bet the pot, 135. He bets, let's bet 30 more, and we're not, in, and we won the 405. 3-5 unsuited, we're going to just get out of that hand. There's nothing for us there. I'm still the chip leader. Ways to go, we have a bunch of people here. I'll call the suited cards. We flop nothing. So uh, I'm going to bet it to see if I can scare somebody into folding. He goes all in, or he goes in with a big bet. Um, I'll call him. Maybe we'll flop it and take him out. We'll bet the 30 so he has to put the rest of his chips in. He has an ace-10, and he flopped an ace. So lucky that he flopped that last card, else he would have lost. I don't know why he went in so much with those cards. He was trying to scare me into folding. But we have plenty of chips, so we didn't have to worry too much about that. I'll pay the 15. In fact, let's raise it up, see who's serious. Since we're chip leader, we can play around a little bit more than usual. We can bully our way in a little bit. He's going to be reluctant. Okay. Four jack ten. We have nothing. Let's check it. Well, let's bet. See if we can scare him into folding. He's going to be uh, confident now because he won that last hand, but he gives it to us anyway. Jack four on the button. We're going to call the forty chips. We flop a four. I'm not going to put any more money. Um, 40 chips I'll call, but I'm not going to put a whole lot more money into this hand. Unsuited connectors. We'll call it for the sake of the video for excitement. So we flopped eight. I'm going to check it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a straight. Um, nothing. We won it. Queen.
queen four. I believe we're on the small blind here. So the other two folded. I'll call just to stay in the hand. I'm going to bet 40 chips to see if he'll fold. He uh, calls it up, so I'm going to fold and get out because he probably had a pair of kings there. Jack nine, small blind. I like the jack nine um, on Club WPT, usually flops a pair. So we'll check it. He bets. We have high pair on the board, so I don't know why he's betting there unless he also has a nine. So I'm going to go ahead and call it because we have plenty of chips. Watch out for the flush here as well. I'm going to check it. He bets 360. Now nah, let's let's take him up on it. We won that hand too. He had nothing. No, no, no. We're on the button here. I don't know what that was about. Hope it's still recording. Um, king 8. Flop the king. He's just betting. He probably has a pair of aces, so uh, we have to be very careful. I'll, I'll call it just in case he doesn't have that pair. He had a king too, but he had the five as well, so we had two pair. That's why he beat us. We're going to fold on that. <clears throat> We're still the chip leader. <clears throat> We're in the small blind. But we have suited cards, so I'm going to go ahead and call it. Fortunately, we didn't flop any hearts, so I'm just going to check this around. I'm not going to invest any more money in the hand. Oh, we have a, we have a pair with the two. I'll call it in case we get another two. Okay, so we have two pair now. So let's bet 40 because I don't think he's got two pair. What did he have there? He had two pair as well, nines and jacks. We're still fine, we're still chip leader. Queen six suited, I'll call the 20 to stay in the hand. We didn't flop anything. Um, let's bet, try to scare him out, we'll bet 120. He has a pair of aces or a pair of kings. He's going to bet 260. 360. And I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. Pair of nines on the button. Let's raise it up to 80. He calls it. He calls it. Okay, so anybody with a king is beating us. Anybody else paired up on the flop there? Um, they have a five, a three, or a king. I'm going to check it. Now we have two pair. Anybody with fives is betting big. So he's got a five. He's got a five, two, probably. Um, I'll call the 240 just so we can stay in the hand for video's sake. Hopefully we'll get to see their cards. Okay, he goes in with a big bet because he's got that. So let's let them battle it out. Let's see what happens. They didn't show their cards, unfortunately. Ace two, get out because uh, it's not a good pair to start with if you're not on the button. We want to somewhat keep our chips up. We're not in the chip lead anymore, so we have to start to be careful here. Check it. Okay, we have a possible flush, plus we have a pair of sevens. But remember, if anybody has a queen, they're beating us. So let's check. He 
He only has 210 chips. We should at least make him put those 210 chips in, which he does. He goes all in. If he doesn't call it, I will. I'll call the 210. There's our flush. We win the pot. We took another person out. 9-5 suited. I'll call the 30 chips. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have a straight here. So let's bet 60. See if he stays in. Um, he's probably got a flush. So I don't want to go too crazy. Because who knows. Now everybody's got a flush. So we'll see how that pans out. We split the pot. Four seven on the button. I would normally fold, but since I'm on the button, I'm going to stay in here. And I flop to seven. Check that through. No reason to stay in this hand. Big blind. <clears throat> we'll check it. I'm going to bet 150, see if I can get him to fold. He didn't fold. So let's go deep. Let's go 450 to bluff this dude. Yep. Muck cards. Hard to get that guy to fold, but I thought 450 might do it. 9-7 suited, small blind. We'll just limp in, which I don't like to do normally. We could have a gut shot flush here. Um, let's bet 60, see if he's serious. We're going to look at both of the uh, okay. regular scheduled tournaments. We anything, so we won that as well. uh, there's the five diamond the satellite tournament, nine. which actually wins you an entry. On this going in. Um, which means if you stay in, you get to have some nice cards. We're slowly dwindling <clears throat> chipping away at these chip stacks here. Slowly, the five slowly, diamond slowly. satellite actually um, wins you. No reason to raise. Um, we'll bet 150 to see if we can get him to fold. Okay, he's got a jack or an ace. There's no sense in staying in this. Um, I'll go. No, we'll just fold it and give him a couple hundred chips we had invested. Small blind with a 5-8. Just get out of your chances of winning there. Less than eight the five diamond satellite. King ace let's on the button. Great here. hand. Uh, let's bet the pot. Two points two two ten. Ten. It's 50 tournament points to get in this tournament at 945. Just it to us. Five diamond satellite. Normally I would have showed them those two cards to okay. back them down a little bit. First through tenth place the ball with the six in this tournament. Pays an entry flush possible here. into the WPT um, event package tournament. Two seven, uh, two okay. seventy. He's gonna. That fold. means. <laughs> and I'm not gonna show him my cards. That the Slowly first away at ten stacks. people. Uh, I'm not gonna invest any money in a two six unsuited. Give him a hand. Ace two on the button. Yeah, we're gonna go in with a raise. Minimum raise though. Okay, All of them. Raises us up. I'll take them. Get up to go him. to the tournament. On Sunday, possible flush here, which I think the winner of that goes to the t ace, to the TV us, game. Okay, he's probably all right, so that's flush. what it is. Um, so I'm just going to call the, his the last team. table here is all awarded free Fair entry fives, into the WPT event package kind. tournament. I'll call it to next see Sunday. Um, it's a good tournament to play in. We're going to see if we can find anything eight, a little bit better, no like something that plays cash. He had no cards at all. Um, let's look here. Um, I'm calling it simply because the pattern here is I win this everything. This is a bad tournament to get so, in a uh, sit and go. It's been working that for pays us. Six hundred tournament points. Um, we'll join that 60. waiting list. See if nothing. We don't have quick. anything here. So let's make him think we have we'll some cards. We'll be able to fit that whole tournament I into a video because it's a sit and go. He had the ace. And so good for him. They go really fast. 
Todd Fisher on this one. Here. Nine three. Small blind. Suited. There's six people on this cars. list too. So give it to him. I'm not gonna go in with that. Three five on the button. We'll call the sixty. He ups it. I'm gonna give it to him. Don't be afraid to fold and get out. Big blind, 7-2. Worst hand in poker. We have absolutely nothing. Uh, no reason for me to call it because there's nothing to win there. Ace-jack suited um, on the small blind. We'll go ahead and raise that. The pattern here is I've seen that they'll bet on anything no matter what their cards are, so it's very hard to get a read on them. Since he checked there, he probably doesn't have a damn thing. Why would he call 600? I have an ace and a jack. He probably flopped a king. Let's try it. Yep, he had a king. I knew it. <clears throat> Button, ace, eight. Um, do you stay in here? You probably do because you're on the button and you're in a place of power. So he raises it up. We're going to uh, give him the fold and show. flopped an ace. I'm going to check it to make him believe I have nothing. So now he's going to get big and bet me 750 because he probably has an ace too. So I'm going to call him. Three of a kind. I'm going to call him. He had nothing. He had a pair of nines. I took almost all his chips there because checking making him think I had nothing, and then he bet almost all his stack, so it was a good call on our part. Nothing to win there. Seven queen on the button, we're in a position of power, so we'll want to call that. Six, seven, nine, ten. Possible straight. Um, let's bet a hundred. See if we can get him to fold. He did. What cards? When you get down to the last few people here, it's not good to show your cards too much unless you're doing it strategically. I like to show them when I have really good cards and then bluff them. Um, He's being more conservative now because he lost that bunch, that big chip stack to me. Am I going to call to go in fifty dollars for the four six? Um, I will, since no one else is going to play. Uh, I don't, let me just give him the pot. So nothing there. I'll bet a hundred. Actually, I'll bet two hundred to see if I can get him to fold. He thought I had the uh, queens, so he folded. Queen eight on the button. We're going to want to raise going in here because they're not going to bet unless they really have something good. 10-5-2, um, I'm going to check it. I'm going to wait a minute until the alarm rings. Okay, now we flop the queen. He bets. So I'm going to bet 800. <laughs> I'm going to show him the cards to show him I had the queen there. Now he'll think every time I do that, I have the cards. Next time I do it and I have nothing, he'll fold. <laughs> this guy's got 290 chips. It's time to get him out. So um, let's work on getting him out.
We need to get this guy to bet up here. Okay, he's in. Or he's not in, he folded on. Huh? Queen eight. We really have nothing to win here, so let's just fold and give him the hand. King nine on the big blind. This guy's folding on everything. I really wish he would bet on something. He bets a hundred. I bet he has nothing. Um, call him for fun. Eight, nine, ten, and we don't have the straight, so I'll just check it. He had the ace. Almost a flush, too. This guy's just folding. He's going to be out here soon. Oh, we have a pair of sevens. Okay, that's his card. So we want to bet on this be so we can take this guy out. Four five suited. Good thing he bet two. So three fours. We have a pair of fours. He bets one. We want to call because we want to stay in the hand here. There's a pair of nines. We just want to take that guy out. We have three, four, five, six. Almost a straight. He's probably got the straight, so I'm going to fold. And that guy's gone. So now it's just the two of us. Now I like to speed things up. So here's what I do. I'm on the button. I just bet really fast. And I try to throw him off kilter. Any bet he throws at me, I throw right back at him. <clears throat> I'll call the 300. I won that. All right. I'm going to bet as fast as I can. I want to try to throw this guy off kilter. Jack six, big blind. Nothing. Bet 150. He folds. Muck. Three. I'm going to fold. Pair of twos. Check it. I'm going to bet it because it's suited. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going in with that. Ten ace. He should fold. If he doesn't. He's got something. He's probably got a pair of queens. I'll bet one fifty on it. I don't think he has anything. He had a pair of sixes. Okay, we're even, so now we need to play perfect poker. Um, on the button, I'll play the jack four. And we got nothing out of it, so uh, I'm going to bet 300 to try to scare him out of it. And he folds. I scared him out of it, I had nothing. I'm going to fold on the 5-7 suited. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to play it. No, I'm going to fold on it. I haven't been hitting those lately, so um, on the button, queen 6 unsuited, I'm going to fold. A pair of kings, of course, is a great starting hand, so uh, let's raise them up. We might get to get him to go all in 
here. Okay, we have two pair. Um, I'm gonna bet fifteen hundred on this. He folds. I showed him that I had two kings. Eight nine suited. I like that. I like eight nine suited a lot. So we got dropped a pair of nines. There's our set right there. I always end up getting the set. I don't want to scare him away, so I'm just going to bet on 150, but I'm going to wait until the alarm goes off. There's the alarm. We have one more alarm after that. He's going to fold. I knew it. A6. I don't know why I played this because uh, we have nothing. Queen six suited on the button. We definitely want to come into this with a raise. He calls it. We have nothing. Got something he's not telling us about. Fold. He's gonna fold. Oh. He's got a king or something going on there. 330. I'll call him on it. He doesn't know what to do now. So he goes with a big bet, and I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> Ace, two, three. Oh. We get a four, we get a straight. Usually it hits. But I'm not going to go for it today. I want to win this tournament for this video. So uh, on the button. Let's call the 100, see if he stays in. No, let's get out. I don't want it. I don't think he's got anything. Just a pair of tens, huh? He didn't have anything either. He had the king high. We would have lost with the queen, so uh, I don't want to play the nine six. A pair of fours. Yeah, we'll go with that. Look at that set. I'm gonna check it so he thinks I have nothing. Watch out for the straight here. Suited queen eight, I'll call the hundred. He raises, um, I'll call it. We have a possible flush here. Um, I don't know what he could have. I'm going to raise him. Yeah, that's what I thought. He didn't have anything. He was bluffing us. Puts us back in the chip lead, too, by the way. Um, King seven, nah, don't do it. It's a pair of anything beats you, so it's not as strong as a, of a hand as it appears to be when you're not on the button.
really haven't been getting that strong of cards. See what I'm doing here? I have three of a kind. He doesn't know that. So we, we, we value better, and we were able to get a lot of his chips that way. Put us back in the chip lead. And he fell for that twice now. I'm not going to put anything into an 8-3 hand, even if I'm on the button. Not at this point in time when I'm trying to win the tournament. 10-2, um, same thing. I'm just not going to do it. I'll even show him my cards. Button Jack 10. Yeah, I'm not real happy about that hand right now. We flop a Jack, but if he's got an ace, we're screwed. We have two pair now. So he flopped a set of eights. Good, good uh, hand on his part. We're going to bet the pot on this with the king ace. Okay, so we, we hit the kings. Uh, I'm going to bet $1,200, which is half my stack. Unless he's got a pair of jacks. I'm going to beat this guy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to beat this guy. He'll bet. I have two pair. So... I'm going to check, and if he has a jack, he's going to come in big. He came in big, so that means he has the jack. Um, so even with a pair of sevens, we're kind of screwed here. Should we call him on it for fun? Let's call him for fun. He folds. <laughs> uh, that was a great play on my part. Not to toot my own horn, but that was a good play. Um, three, four, not suited. I shouldn't be messing around, but I'm feeling lucky here. Fast play wasn't working too good for me, so I'm slowing it down a little bit now. I like to control the game. Fold. Oh, he must have an ace. You know, watch out for the flush here, too, because if he has two spades. Uh, he could have the flush, so he would bet here if he had the flush. 
He's betting 500, so I don't know what that means here, but I don't have anything. So, um, well, I have a pair of queens, I guess. I, I don't know what he has. Now I have two pair. So we won that one, luckily for us. This chip lead will go back and forth at this amount. Basically, one pot puts one person in the lead over the other. Um, you really have to start chipping away. Okay, here's a good spot for us because we have two pair. So I'm going to raise him and hope that he doesn't have a set. I'm going to bet 300 again. He'll take that probably. Nope, it's going to... Yeah, good. Um, I don't see a possibility for a flush. Unless he's got three of a kind. He didn't come in strong enough for me to think he has three of a kind. So he might have a pair. Great. So we won that. We have 6,700. He's got 2,200. Now it's time to take it home. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we have two pair here. I'm going to check it to make him think I have nothing. He fell for this twice already. Okay, so he has three of a kind. Um, he has a ten. He has a ten. I'll call him for fun. I know he has a ten. But if we get a nine or a queen, you know, <laughs> he's going to go all in, of course. And we'll call him. He didn't have the ten? What was that guy thinking? I have no idea what that guy was thinking, but... We won the tournament. People will do crazy things. Um, a lot of times in tournaments, um, hey, congratulations, you won 400 tournament points. A lot of times in tournaments, in the end, when your head's up with a guy, they'll do stupid things because they get tired and they just want to end it. And I think that's what happened in this case, is he just wanted out of the tournament. So that's how you won, win 400 tournament points for your whatever it was buy-in. And uh, that's good for us because now we have uh, 1,820 tournament points on WPT. Hope you enjoyed this how to win a tournament and sit and go tournament in Club WPT. I am Shane, the moneymaker spy Hopkins. Join me for more action on poker, marketing, and making money online at moneymakerspy.com. If you have a small business, and you'd like to leverage the internet uh, to help you grow, build, or start your brick and mortar or online business, visit me over at High Output Media, which is homedia.us. Please share this with your friends. If you have friends that play poker, remember to visit me often. Sign up to my blog, join via email, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please email me with any questions you might have. I answer all of my emails personally and as quickly as I can. Shane at MoneymakerSpy.com. And Shane is spelled S-H-A-N-E. Thanks, folks, for watching my video.